There are usually two main fire pumps and one emergency fire pump provided on board most ships. Thus, you see that there is enough redundancy for supplying seawater in the fire system. During ballast operations, one of the two main fire pumps is used. Other uses of fire pumps are to supply water for washing deck surfaces as well as to hose down bilges in the engine room. The emergency fire pump is located in a remote location away from the engine room. The power supply can be from the emergency switchboard or by an independent diesel engine. This ensures operation of the pump even if there is a fire in the engine room resulting in a blackout. The fire pump draws water through the strainer from the main sea suction line. One discharge of the pump is connected directly to the overboard valve to regulate pressure and the other supplies water to all engine room hydrants and deck services. There is an isolating valve located on deck to provide water on deck. When this valve is closed, the water supply to deck is cut off. When using the emergency fire pump to fight fire in accommodation or deck, you must close the isolating valve from the engine room. This prevents loss of pressure in the fire line through the main fire pumps and valves in the engine room. The fire pump discharge passes through the foam room. The main fire line draws foam solution either by educating or by pumping if required. When the fire line carries the foam solution to the foam spreaders or turrets, it mixes with air to produce foam. Seawater freezes in very cold climates. The drain cocks provided on the fire line on deck drains excess water when not in use, preventing blockage or damage to pipelines due to accumulated water.